Uh, in this video tutorial I'm going to explain you how to use the awesome bomb software um, okay so I just started the program and this is the main GUI uh, this is the f 3d preview and here is the uh, texture preview and you can change the size of the image or even the um, panel on the left and on the left you see a few tabs on each tabs you can change different settings uh, like in output tab you can change the image size or image name format and suffixes most sensitivity sensitivity or etc and f if you choose diffuse tab you will um, enable to uh, modify the diffuse texture and or normal texture specular have or displacement uh, occlusion, roughness, metallic and ma material tab. Uh, I will explain the usage of this tab later. Okay, so in the middle um, window you, you see the 3D preview and you can change the settings of this uh, of this window. Uh, this, those settings will not affect the texture uh, here. Mm, here you can choose between two different types of shadings physically based rendering which is the default one and the bump mapping uh, where the roughness texture is now used as a glossiness texture okay okay let's back to the default shading and we want to open a new image um, you can use this button here to load the image from the folder or you can drag and drop the image uh, from the file browser mm, the same you can also use the copy from clipboard or paste from, from uh, copy to clipboard or paste from clipboard um, buttons so for example if I mm, want to load this image and I have this image opened in some program I can copy it to the clipboard and use this button paste in order to using in the awesome bump okay so as you see all the old texture are not changed this is because uh, in awesome bump you have to do it uh, manually you have to convert this image uh, by yourself not this is not like in other programs uh, in order to generate all the textures uh, here we have to enable the base map to other conversion tool um, <coughs> as you see here we have the normal map which will be generated after you press this button here so before we do that we have to play around with some sliders and parameters and to get the, the result which we like the small and medium and big and huge tabs correspond to the um, different level of details of the image so if you don't like this you can just disable this by setting this wave scroll bar to zero and here and here such that the image will, be co will contain only the small details so i think for me it's enough I like this picture and uh, we can convert this image to normal normal and others uh, texture by this button. Okay, so after conversion we can disable the preview settings and edit uh, all the textures separately. Okay, so here we have different um, settings for the diffuse image and basically the processing pipeline in awesome bump is from the top to the bottom of each tab. So for example, if you enable the grayscale filter, uh, it will be applied before the um, sharpen or blur. So if you enable the base map to other conversion tool, you have uh, those sliders here and actually you can also use uh, these sliders to change the output normal map um, for example like this okay so take a look on the windows here they are not flat but uh, we want uh, to have windows flat and this is because in the original image um, the windows contain uh, some reflection of the sky with clouds or something like that so I found that if I use the slider offset here, I can remove the noise from the window uh, and uh, I still see the bricks here. So I think this image is much better than before. So um, this is just a tip how to use awesome bump uh, to get better results. Now I can convert uh, this image to other textures and 
disable the conversion tool, restore the value of the offset and now this image is much better than the first one. Okay, so here we have different settings for the normal texture and uh, those parameters here are almost the same like in the diffuse texture or um, other textures. Um, here you can choose the input image for the normal texture. So if the current image option is, uh, is chosen, uh, it means that this is the image which you can load from the file or uh, for example is uh, generated from the diffuse texture. Mm, but if you choose the Hive texture, or input or output, um, the texture normal texture is calculated from the uh, Hive texture, but the difference between input and output is uh, such that the Hive input is the texture in the memory before all the processing here, and Hive output is the texture uh, which is in the memory after processing, which is basically the texture you see in this 2D preview window. So if I choose the Hive output and I apply some filter uh, to the Hive texture, it, it will also affect um, the normal texture here. Okay, so. Um, the input image and you can calculate the, the depth of the normal image using this depth calculator calculator which I described in some of the previous uh, version of uh, awesome bump and the new feature in Pi version is uh, the normal map mixer uh, you can load uh, some normal texture and mix it uh, with uh, current image so for example you can use it um, to add some noise to the normals, uh, which is not present in the diffuse texture. Uh, here you have, uh, you can change the angle, the size of the noise, or just translate it uh, to achieve different results. Okay, so this is the normal texture, and in case of the specular texture, there is nothing new. You have the input image, and uh, you can play with the parameters here, and the same for the half texture. Uh, okay, so if you are using this input image here, uh, for example in case of the occlusion texture, uh, if you set it to the output and normal output, uh, this means that each time you change, uh, for example, half or the normal texture, um, occlusion texture will be recalculated. So if you are going to process uh, large images, it may slow down your program. This is because this uh, occlusion filter is quite demanding in comparison to the other fil filters uh, in Awesome Bump. So, in order to avoid this uh, problem, you can change the parameters here uh, to get the result which will satisfy you. Um, for example, like this or something like that, and change to the current image and recalculate from the half and normal output. So now the images are the same, but uh, this time if you have a current image, this image is in the memory. So it will be not uh, recalculated uh, each time you change half and normal. And uh, this is the way you can speed up the processing in Awesome Pump. Okay, so let's go to the roughness texture. Um, in order to prepare the roughness texture, I'm going to use the color filter. And this filter allows you to pick the color from the image here and compare this picket uh, color with the rest of the pixels in order to prepare the roughness mask. So note that if this uh, button is red, you can change the image uh, by using these parameters. Uh, this is uh, because sometimes it may help you to prepare better mask and for example like this or something like that and now I can pick the windows and uh, after mm, clicking uh, the mask the image is gonna generated and I want to have the windows uh, not rough so I have to in the invert this mask and that's that's all okay so in case of metallic texture I'm going to use also the color filter it's the fastest way uh, I will make the windows more metallic 
and I think the distance base will be much better. Mm, okay, so uh, at this point you just have to go through this texture here and uh, make some corrections uh, to get better results. So what I'm going to do now is to explain you how to use this new feature, uh, which is uh, called uh, materials texture, and I will need a new example to do that. Let me load a new model. So this is a 3D model of the backpack which I download from the Blend Swamp web page and the diffuse texture is um, okay so uh, now you see this is the the, um, the model but the, we have to generate the rest of the textures and as you see this texture contains uh, different part of materials for example this part corresponds to the metallics part uh, of the image like here and this is the leather of the backpack and here we have different materials so if we generate uh, all the textures uh, using this uh, basement conventional tool so it will take a while because this is a quite uh, big uh, image and now you see that um, it will be really hard to modify for example um, all the part selected part in this texture so in order to solve this problem we can use this uh, materials tab here Unfortunately, you cannot uh, generate uh, those kind of textures uh, in Awesome Bump and you have to prepare it uh, manually. So in case of this backpack, I prepared the material textures uh, and this is the diffuse texture. Um, so as you see, the green rectangle corresponds to the leather uh, parts of the uh, backpack and the blue one corresponds to the metallic parts of the backpack. The most important thing uh, when you create such kind of texture is to there cannot be some blending between those colors because Awesome Bambi will recognize them as different materials. And the second thing is to you have to keep some margin between different materials. Uh, this is because when you, for example, apply here um, some Gaussian blur with large uh, radius, you can access during the blurring process different materials and this will lead to the strange artifacts in the output images. So now we can load this image into the material uh, texture and see what happened. Okay. So no, you see that uh, Awesome Bump recognizes five different materials, and but in order to enable the material texture, you have to the, the press this button here. Okay. It will take a while because all the material have to be rendered at the beginning. Now you can choose the material uh, by clicking on this list. So, for example, if I choose material 5, is this yellow uh, color here, uh, I can edit uh, all the settings for this uh, material and th this will only affect the part, this part of, of the image. Um, there is a second way to choose the material. Um, if you click on this window, you make this window active. Now, if you press S button, and hold this, you will see your material texture on this object. And this is actually a good way to check if uh, this texture is uh, good for this model. Now I can click on this object and to choose proper material. So as you see, uh, you don't have to even see this um, material tab to select proper uh, material. Okay, so here is the shortcut list and you can see that S button show material te texture preview and there are also other shortcuts which uh, can be useful for you. So, okay, so let's apply some materials on this model. And first of all, uh, I see that this displacement mapping, uh, it's not a good idea in this case, so I'm going to disable this. So um, I'm going to use this project manager because it's quite a fast way to choose between the between the materials types and let us first start from the material leather material so okay I will try those different settings now this is uh, this is not a good idea mm. so I think that the first one was the best one and actually I can make more light 
to see the better okay it looks like leather okay so now we can change this this model trying different options okay okay Okay, something wrong with this with this uh, texture because it should be different. And mm, okay, this is because of the occlusion texture. I don't like it that way. So okay. Okay, so this is much much better of course oh, this is basically the idea how to use this um, materials texture uh, with awesome bump and I'm sure that if you will work uh, you will make something better than me okay so there is another feature which is in the awesome bump uh, pie version you can choose the pl place on, on the object and now the camera is uh, rotating around this place you selected Okay, I think that was basically all what I wanted to show you in this video tutorial and of course if you have any questions or if you found a bug please give me a feedback because I'm always trying to make this software more user friendly and stable of course so any interaction with you is really appreciated. So thank you for watching and I hope uh, you will enjoy this new version of Awesome Bump.